made some cookies today. I am headed to my, I think it's a three month post-op for um, when I had my tooth pulled. <sighs> if you wanna see my little dental nightmare, go ahead and click up here. Not the dentist's fault that it was just a nightmare he offered to put me under. Anyways, I have the three month post-op for that and I think they're gonna talk to me about the implant, which is not gonna happen. They're so, so expensive. I'm gonna guess probably $6,000 for an implant, but this is a free appointment that they offer after you do all the whole process. So I might as well go and like figure out how much it's gonna cost. One thing I do wanna check on is I blew my nose right after I had the bone graft. They did a bone graft when they pulled it out and I feel like I messed it up. I just wanna make sure it's all healing properly. And they're going to look at all that. They wanna make sure I have enough bone to even be able to get an implant if I wanna do that one day. So anyways, there's that. I made them cookies because, oh my gosh, I feel so bad. I actually had an appointment last Friday and I had remembered, I'd remembered, and then my mom was like, oh, you guys should go on a date. And it literally like went to the back of my mind and I completely forgot about it. And I'm not one to forget about appointments. I felt so terrible. If you guys haven't seen my Q&A, my biggest pet peeve is when like people waste my time and I feel like I wasted their time and I just feel terrible <laughs> so i made them some cookies to apologize i don't know if they're gonna be able to eat them because of all the the rona and all that but bring them as an apology also i'm going to be getting my ring size if you guys haven't noticed i have not worn my wedding ring i do have some rubber ones but i just don't i don't really care for them they just kind of feel weird i will wear them sometimes i haven't had my wedding ring size since we got married 11 years ago and obviously have had four kids since then so slightly larger fingers. <laughs> All right, let's head out. <sighs> I just got really nervous. If you've seen the video, you know why. I know it's not their fault but like nauseous, nervous, but it will be okay. It will be fine. There's not gonna be anything painful today. Hopefully, I think I'm gonna ask them right away. Oh, a little nervous, but it's fine. There's, there's nothing that could be painful, right? Oh, okay, let's go get my mouth checked. I am all done at the oral surgery place. I almost had a panic attack in there. I, I didn't, I don't know, I didn't realize I was like nervous. Now I was like making cookies this morning and like cleaning and like keeping myself busy and I think, I think I was keeping myself busy so I didn't have to think about it. <laughs> this kind of sounds ridiculous. I'm fine. I did ask right away if it was going, if anything was gonna hurt and she said no. And then my blood pressure was 151 over 89 and I warned her before I was like I, it was just a really bad experience I was like it wasn't his fault but I'm just a little bit nervous so I'm gonna guess my blood pressure <laughs> sure enough it was crazy high all right so I'm gonna talk to you guys about this because I have always been curious on implants and I've you know I'm sure there's videos I haven't really watched it because I didn't really want to scare myself but if you guys are curious what an implant costs in Alaska, it is about 2,800 for just the implant for them to put the implant in, and then it could be up to 2,500 for a crown. Now, your regular dentist is gonna do the crown, they said, so what I would do is get the implant done with them, which would cost the 2,800, and then it would have to heal for four to six months, and then I would go get the crown. Now she said it's not a huge hurry for you to go get the crown put on. It can be just an implant in there for a little while. I realized even if we could financially do this, which we can't right now, but even if we could, 
I don't think I'm even mentally ready to have them do stuff in my mouth. Oh, I just got really flush. I didn't, I didn't realize <laughs> I was going to have so much anxiety over it. Uh, I've always had very good experiences with Dennis and he was very nice. His bedside manner is wonderful, but it's just, it was just the like traumatic experience. Like, ugh. So I do have enough bone left in my bone graft to be able to get it. It's probably going to be a year before we do it. Um, I do want to save up for it. I think I, I didn't realize like how much of a change it would make in my mouth. Like I knew it was a molar, but uh, it would be nice to have an implant if we can in any way make it possible. I am so grateful to not be in any pain in my mouth. I'm such a like sensitive person, but like it's literally like aching up there just from like going over there because that's that's who I am as a person. Okay? <laughs> when I am chewing, it is it definitely makes a difference. Like I have to chew all my food on this side, which I feel like is going to wear these teeth down like a crazy amount. So I do think it'd be a good idea to get it, but like I said, not right now. The good thing about wearing a mask when you go into place is that they can't see you chewing gum. <laughs> All right, I am going to go get my ring size. I'm so excited. I just bought these glasses off of Amazon and I was expecting them to be more like my other ones, but these are like legit, like a mirror. Like you can like, see everything like you can see what's in front of me look how creepy I don't know it's a little trippy I don't know I prefer the ones that I got at Fred Meyer but I went there the other day and they did not have them I'm so sad I tried fitting them online but now I'm scared to order online because I'm scared they're gonna show up like these <laughs> my ring is getting sized I'm excited it was one size bigger is all I needed so it's not too bad now I'm going to be bringing cookies to my mom's office dr. cave was actually really wonderful through this whole process of like me getting my tooth pulled and like I had to call her on her cell phone because they didn't want to pull it out without talking to my actual dentist anyways she was wonderful I'm bringing her some cookies too I'm a little I'm still a little like on edge maybe I need to like <sighs> I don't know Whew. Okay, let me get my life together here. <laughs> All right, that was intense for what I was about to say. <laughs> I just dropped cookies off. I'm gonna get a sunrise bagel and espresso breakfast burrito. There's something about sunrise bagel and espresso breakfast burritos. I'm very flustered still. Um, I feel like I can't get my words together. That's <laughs> silly. I feel really silly for like reacting the way I did but it's okay tomorrow is actually my birthday and I think tomorrow we're gonna do some blueberry picking my sweet friend Brittany messaged me and was like you have to go out blueberry picking and she even messaged me her spot to pick blueberries and if you are from Fairbanks you know that is a big deal like you don't ask people where they blueberry pick <laughs> because people don't want you to go out and like pick all the blueberries so anyways, it was super sweet of her to share her spot. So I will not be sharing where we are at. Anyways, I'm excited to go blueberry picking. They're always ripe right around my birthday. A few years ago on my birthday, we did that and I just had such a good time. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you doing? Good. Good, what are you getting today? Um, can I get two breakfast burritos? Yeah, you want to salsa on them? Yes, please. Okay. And then two breakfast bagels. Okay, we'll I, up. I can pull forward if I need to. Nope, I you're don't. totally fine. Oh you're gosh. Totally okay. Kind of, um... Ooh, maybe a small vanilla cone. Okay. <laughs> God, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You too. Okay, it's not my birthday till tomorrow. If you don't know. Okay. If you don't know, Sunrise has some of the best ice cream. McDonald's and Sunrise are like right there. All right. I'm going to head home, go see the family, and I don't know what else we have planned, but I'm sure it'll be exciting. <laughs> okay. Daddy! 
Oh, it's so cute too, because you guys even match your buffalo plaid Elmos. Mm -hmm. These aren't making the vlog, unfortunately. Oh, it is. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not vlog material right now. You are all of that and more. I got a box here while I was gone from Joy Box Flowers, but it doesn't say who it's from. So we're gonna take a leak and see what's in here. Oh, this is a large box. I know, yeah, it's light. It's super light. <laughs> 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 yeah, you put that in the vlog. <laughs> I don't know who it's from yet, but it's all pink, so they know me somehow. Oh my goodness, what in the, let's see what this is from. Happy birthday, sissy, I love you so much. I'm so grateful for you. Can't wait to see you again, love, Heidi. Oh. <laughs> wow, that is a real rose. It's all pink, so thoughtful. Bye-bye. Thanks, Heidi. Oh. <laughs> can we change your no name to Joy? Can we, can we call you Joy? No. No, you don't like that name? Mm. Has the terrible two started to hit? All right, everybody. I have came home. I have calmed down. I was a little bit wired, but I feel better. I kind of lay down. My head hurts a little bit, but the kids are playing outside. Lance had to go to the store. <laughs> Tomorrow's my birthday, so I mean, not that I expect anything, but I imagine it's something for that. <laughs> Natalie, how you doing, girl? Good. Look at all these scrapes with the hair. Oh my goodness, this girl Playing. has some serious, she's got serious summer road rash. <laughs> They've really been enjoying outside so much. And I am so thankful for that because when we lived in Fairbanks, it's not that they couldn't enjoy outdoors. It was just a lot more confined. Like we didn't have a ton of areas. I am actually trying to finish up my Valdez videos. I know it has taken me so long but those are my final ones. It was just very hard for me to get back into the rhythm of like editing vlogs and all that. So I'm gonna get some editing done while they play out here. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> All right guys, I did get my video edited. Finally, this one took a really long time. I bet you I have eight hours into editing this video. I don't know why, I think it's just like all the back and forth and the drone shots and all of that, I don't know. But if you haven't seen it yet, go ahead and click here. This is the one I'm talking about. Tomorrow, we are going to go blueberry picking. And I am so excited. I told Blance, what I wanna do for my birthday is go blueberry picking because it is so peaceful. You're just out there picking blueberries and it's just the, the sound of the wind is just, it's just, all of it's just beautiful and it's nice and it's Alaska country and I don't know. I am going to end this one here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.